Let's get into the first topic for today. Micron commences volume production of 16 gigabyte GDDR6X memory for NVIDIA's RTX 3090 Ti and also readies 24 gigabit per second GDDR6X dies for future graphics cards. Micron has announced that it has commenced volume production of 16 gigabyte GDDR6X memory dies featured on the NVIDIA RTX 3090 Ti. In addition to that, the company is also prepped with its future 24 gigabits per second memory dies, which will push performance further up on next gen graphics cards. Coming from Boise, Idaho, April 12, 2022, Micron Technology Incorporated today announced the volume production of its new 16 gigabyte GDDR6X memory, which is now shipping in the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics cards. The latest GDDR6X memory available only from Micron features twice the capacity and up to 15% higher performance over the previous eight gigabyte version. These additional capabilities mean end users can experience razor sharp visuals, higher frame rates, and outstanding performance in memory intensive applications like gaming and content creation. <laughs> no sir, no sir, like Ethereum mining, that's what we're talking about here because we're talking about faster, faster memory. Mm. Today, Micron extends its performance leadership by providing a new graphics memory with 16 gigabyte capacity and running at an industry best 21 gigabytes per second in the GeForce RTX 3090 Ti. With a performance roadmap up to 24 gigabytes per second, GDDR6X is ready for data hungry applications for the future. Additionally, Micron's innovative use of PAM4 signal techniques in GDDR6X makes it more power efficient than any of the GDDR6 products publicly available. We're getting more power efficient. We're getting faster. This is pretty awesome stuff. So take a look at this. Here are the bandwidth numbers you can expect from a 24 gigabits per second DRAM solution. On a 512 bit bus, that's going to be one and a half terabytes a second. On a 384 bit bus, that's going to be 1.1 terabytes per second. On a 320 bit bus, that's going to be 960 gigabytes per second. On a 256 bit bus, that's going to be 768 gigabytes per second. On a 192-bit bus, that's going to be 576 gigabytes per second. On a 128-bit solution, that's 384 gigabytes per second. On a 92-bit solution, that's going to be 276 gigabytes per second. And on the 64-bit solution, that's going to be 192 gigabytes per second. Quote, the industry leading capabilities of Micron's GDDR6X memory help bring new levels of realism and performance to the most demanding application, said Mark Mon Montierth, something like that, vice president and general manager of high performance memory and networking at Micron. Quote, Micron is once again at the forefront of the memory in innovation, powering today's highest bandwidth solutions and built with the advanced process and interface technology to enable continued graphics performance leadership. As games and graphics rendering techniques become even more sophisticated, graphics processing units require massive amounts of data to move in incredible, at incredible speeds, which can challenge systems graphic, graphics memory. Virtual reality gaming, 4K and 8K monitors with 240Hz refresh rates and intense 3D CAD applications stress the limits of graphics systems. The unrivaled memory bandwidth of GDDR6X enables these high resolution experiences with ultra fast frame rates and near instant rendering, providing users with lifelike effects. GDDR6X capabilities integrated with GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics cards improve real time ray tracing and neural graphics processing to deliver the immersive immersive cinematic effects of virtual worlds and, and yeah i said that a little bit different the geforce rtx 3090 ti features 24 gigabytes of gddr6x enabling 40 teraflops of gpu performance the breakthrough bandwidth of GDDR6X is possible because of Micron's groundbreaking work with PAM4 signal transmission technology, which has revolutionized how memory moves data. Micron's PAM signaling technique means GDDR6X increases memory bandwidth and power system bandwidth up to one terabytes per second, making it the optimal choice for graphics applications that require exceptionally fast, low power memory. 
No other memory vendor offers this capability. The addition of 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory marks an important milestone in the growth of Micron's ultra bandwidth solutions portfolio, which includes GDDR6 and HBM2E. Together, these solutions comp uh, comprise the industry's most comprehensive portfolio of high performance, high bandwidth products designed to feed data intensive applications. I want to remind you guys of something. Remember that NVIDIA had basically moved all of their memory production over to TSMC at some point and moved it off of specifically uh, Samsung. I'm kind of curious what all this has to do to play in, in play here. But either way, it's interesting that we have essentially faster memory. We were kind of aware of all these memories or, or all, all of this memory improvements, right? The interesting thing that we get out of this or that I'm learning is specifically PAM4 signal techniques in GDDR6X is what is driving the power efficiency. And so, yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.